What is really courageous about Avril Lavigne is the fact that she, in the public eye, demonstrates her search for self. A lot of people are scared of this search. A lot of people certainly aren't going to do it in front of everyone's eye. And one of the qualities of the search for self that she goes after is her gender role. What is really exciting and spectacular about her is the fact that she has found a way to balance the masculine and feminine sides. And they say that is the key to experiencing the optimal level of life. Now she's a female, so it's going to be natural that the feminine side in an optimal situation is going to be dominant, but that doesn't mean that she is not going to be expressing the masculine side. When she first started, such as the times where she was known for having a tie, she seemed to exude more of the masculine characteristics, but she still had some feminine stuff. Nowadays, she still has the feminine side. I'm, I'm sorry, she still has the masculine side, but she has felt more comfortable embracing her full femininity. For example, in the video, The Best Damn Thing, she has really found a way to balance and integrate both the masculine and feminine sides in such a way as to make the feminine side lead, but still show the masculine side. In that video, for example, one of her outfits is with the pink hair, and the black boots and the dress. Mostly feminine, but the boots, for example, are a masculine thing. And whenever somebody has that type of balance, they are living the full life gender-wise. So, I applaud her.